so I'm just over with Andy at the minute and uh, he's going to run me in a Land Rover because I don't want to be seen going down the road with a, a pack on or anything like that because it just looks a little bit out of place. So the few seconds that he pulls up, I grab my gear and off into the trees, uh, it's a very limited window that people are going to see me. Once I'm in the trees, I can just do my own thing. Right, quick little disclaimer. So what I'm doing now, I'm just off the road, just inside the tree line, and I'm gonna sit here 10, 15 minutes, something like that. No, not move around, no talking, nothing like that. And all I'm doing is listening and watching. I don't know if there's other people in here or not. I don't know who's about, what's about, whatever. The point of this is figure it out before I just go stomping around. I'm six foot three and 20 stone. I go yomping through there. Someone's going to hear me straight away, so I'm listening for them first, okay? Other disclaimer on this, this is a YouTube video, right? There'll be bits of talking to camera, there'll be a bit of movement, there'll be things that, no, it's not the most stealth if you wanted to go proper hard on with your shape, shine, shadow, you know. If I did it that way, there would be no video, so just a little disclaimer there, okay? Bit of a nightmare going through them bushes and stuff because as you push your way through you're snapping things you're pushing things out of line you're compressing things down you leave a path so what i've done as you can see where people previously have gone down there and made a path anyway what i've tried to do as much as possible instead of breaking things and pushing my way through is just lifting branches out of the way and putting them back down where they were before that way it's not leaving the direction of travel or as broken things if you know what you're looking for yes you can see people have been through there it's all about minimizing the footprint that you're having as you're walking through okay Right, common sense. Realistically, if this was some sort of tactical situation, something like that, the last thing I'm gonna do is approach a significant object or structure or something like that that stands out from everything else because you're naturally drawn to go and look at it, so you're gonna get spotted. However, this is YouTube and that's what sells, so that's what people want to see, so guess where I'm going. So, I'm where I want to be, so what I'm going to do again, 
I'm going to post up against the tray. I'm just going to sit down. I'm going to watch and listen. Give me 10, 15 minutes again. It might seem excessive. It's last light. It's that time of night where someone might be walking the dog. Last shoot of the day, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to slow everything down. Take my pack off, but not unpack anything. Once I'm happy that I've had 10, 15 minutes, I can then have a good look round decide how I'm going to even do this, okay? last light I reckon I've got about another 20 minutes half an hour till it gets dark which gives me the last possible bit to set up without using a torch or anything like that I'm not gonna use any kind of light anything like that absolute worse what I might do just so you can see me when I'm talking to camera is turn my phone on and light myself up I think my preferred spot for tonight is gonna be the engine bay so I'm thinking get up in there that way I'm not really gonna need much I'm not gonna disturb the ground too much either I'm just gonna kind of move a few branches and things out of the way I'm uh, not looking forward to tonight's sleep to be honest it's not gonna be overly pleasant I've come in fairly light um, the only downside with this time of year I'm wearing a lot of clothes now because I didn't want to pack it in so I'm overly warm now so I'm going to have to try and cool off but then later on tonight every night this week has been sub-zero and I haven't got a roll mat or anything to keep me off the floor too much because again I'm using my bug out bag rather than a, a Bergen so I could have brought the gear in but it de defeats the object of having a bug out bag if every time you want to go somewhere stealthy or something is you take a great big bloody Bergen, you know what I mean? So, yeah. As this looks like tonight, I'll get these sticks and stuff out of the way. I think I'll put my old um, 58 poncho down here uh, just to stop any of the damp from coming up. Um, don't know what I'm going to do about if it rains or anything like that because there's a lot of gaps things like that but at a glance i don't want stuff over the top of this structure if that makes sense because your eyes are already drawn to it so what i might do is just come off the back section a little bit so first thing we're going to do put this to one side make myself a nice selfish vodka and coke and i'll uh keep that safe out way The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get this bloody great ridgeline jacket off because it's uh, it holds a lot of heat in and I'm going to appreciate it later on. hoodie just here so I can double bag on the hoodies get the jacket back on curl up so what I've got in this burger this pack is uh, the front section here is all my um, brew kit it's my fire lighting gear it's um, yes yeah, so I've got my fire lighting gear I've got my power bank I've got my food I've got my drink there's a, a bit of an open pouch here where you can put your waterproof things 
because I've worn that in, I'm going to uh, put my extra hoodie in there. Top section here is this one is, this one is, this one is. All my personal effects, so it's my glow sticks, uh, all my cleaning stuff, medication, anything like that. Noise. A zip's the loudest thing in the world when you're trying to be quiet. Side pouch, easy access. I've got my drama kit, I've got my gloves, things like that. Other side pouch is my jet boil, anything that I need to make, hot water, things like that. Main section. Some pork pies for tea. That sounds like my lift going. So in the main section, we've got the 58 poncho. The reason I keep on these, they're that bit thicker and old school. Um, they tend to, any little branches, anything like that would normally poke or poke through. These are that bit stronger. The other thing I've got is the little snug pack um, poncho liner. It doesn't do masses, but it makes all the difference and I highly recommend them. I have got the DPM basher in there. I'm not going to put it up. I think worst case, if it rains, I'll get my uh, basher and I'll just chuck it over me like another blanket kind of thing. I'll take that risk because I just don't want it over this structure. Other things that I've got, I've got cordage, I've got bungees, things like that, that I could set up a, a shelter if I wanted to. You know, realistically, I reckon the way that this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the way that this aircraft set up with the two rear sections, I could probably bungee round them and have the structure going over and have one pole up in the middle. Ooh. I think if I bring anybody else back here, I think that's what I'll do. That's a nice little touch. The mosses are out already. Next section down, I've got the disposable toilets. disposable toilets so uh, if you have to go basically it's all zip locked you're not digging a hole you're not making a smell you're not making a mess everything's self-contained to take away with you some people don't like the idea of taking it away with them it's sealed up makes no difference pack it out you brought it in oh, I'm gonna get friggin eaten tonight <laughs> So what the plan is, I'm going to put um, as much clothes down, things like that, to sleep on as possible, which keeps me insulated off the ground as much as possible, um, and then have my little snug pack thing over the top of me. Uh, if it gets really cold, I'm just going to have to put everything on and kind of just hunker down, suck it up. Um, it's now... 20.30, right, so it is literally the last 15 minutes of light, maximum. Get my head down, probably nine half nine, early as possible before the temperature drops. Try and get a few hours before it does get cold. Worst case, it's gonna be a few hours until first light when it warms up a bit. Um, I'll keep my jet boil to hand so I can warm some water up, make myself a nice brew in the middle of the night if I do need to warm up. Um, and then once first light comes round, I can uh, get my stuff together and get out. And that's the thing with stealth camping. Personally, if you're going to do it, it's dusk till dawn, and that's it. You do any more than that, it's not really that stealth. You can try and make a little area, but the places where you're going to do it, there's not going to be people about. So. It's one of them ones, it's personal preference. Everyone's got their own take on kind of stealth camping, but for me personally, I think get somewhere this time of day, 
where you're unlikely to see other people and get out before they're moving again. That's, to me, how it should be done. Right, so there's a little bit of confusion on these planes. Um, a lot of them, uh, a lot of people think because of the double rear end on it, not proper terminology, I know, uh, that it's not this plane, but it's a vampire. These were brought in in around 1945, and they're only around for about 10 years. It was the second uh, jet fighter plane that the British used after the Meteor. Um, so I'll let you do a bit of Googling. You don't need me telling you half facts or I'm not overly knowledgeable on aircraft, so it's one of them things. You can have a look yourself, but it's a vampire. And uh, I'm in the engine bay. So what I like to do is get minimal stuff out. If you take stuff out that you don't need, put it back in. Because if you had to grab your stuff and disappear, bug out, you don't want to leave it behind. Um, what I'm doing now, I've got my snug pack here. I've not got that out till I am ready to go to sleep. I've got my drink here. I'm going to enjoy that in a second. The bag for the jet boil. Jet boil. I'm going to grab a bit of water, grab my boil in the bag, and that's going to be my evening meal. So what I'm doing now. I'm not eating just yet, I'm not overly hungry. Um, what I'm gonna do, I've got that out of the wrapper now, less noise later on. That's gonna be the water that heats that up. That's the jet bar I'm gonna do. And then set this up, ready. Uh, and what I'll probably do is have this, because I've got them pork pies, I'll have them now. And then I'm gonna have this right before I uh, try and get some sleep. So I've got something nice warm inside me. Um, you, as you're digesting it, it creates heat, keeps you warm from the inside, okay? I think that's where a lot of people go wrong, they'll eat too early uh, when they're in cold weather, but try and make it last thing. Don't know how good this light is, because it really is going now. Two things, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm uh, going to do a few more bits and pieces like this over the summer, along with uh, I'm going to do some stealth vehicle camping. I'm going to try and get the vehicle in a few places and hide it. Um, also going to do a bit of off-roading, a um, bit of wild camping, a bit of green lining, um, and a, actually a bit more of everything really. I just want to say thank you to the Patreons, because without them, uh, this, you know, they're enabling me to do this. Uh, as well as that, I want to thank, I know my bosses are watching this, so thank you for the month off on uh, on furlough. It's been massively appreciated. Um, it's been a long time since I've had a decent employer um, that's, you know, looked after me. Without sounding like a brown nose, but credit where credit's due in it. Look after your lads, come back refreshed, make the company more money. That's how it should be, not just take, 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 which I've had for quite a while. Right, that's it now. I'm in bed down. I'm uh, got my little snug pack thing over me. Got my boots off, and uh, I've got everything set up to make a hot drink in the night. And uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but that's it. Sun's down now. Gonna try and get a bit of sleep now. Reply to a few messages and things, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. Half past five. Everything's coming alive now. Um, the last uh, last time I woke up was about three-ish, and everything was uh, rattling around and stuff. And I don't know whether I got just that tired or what, but wow, all the cl clouds lifted and the moon was out. And then instead of having every 10, 15 minutes waking up something noisy, it was obviously two and a half hours. Nice. Morning. Oh. <sighs> right. I'm not hanging around this morning because uh, that was a shit night of sleep. I'm gonna make myself something warm now. 
get my stuff together and uh, move out because uh, I'm going to go back to the woods and have a nap. <laughs> The only thing we've got left out now is the uh, jet boil, so I can make myself some breakfast. At this point, don't get complacent and start being loud and crashing around and stuff just because you're ready for off and you've had a bad night. Make sure you've got everything packed away, then it's your shout what you do with it. Um, me personally, I like to leave no trace. What I'm going to do is, once I've got everything packed away, I've got my bag out, I'm ready to go on foot, that kind of thing. I'm going to be quite brazen with it and just cook my breakfast in the open so I can film it. Um, but that's because I'm at the point now where I'm going to love to get, if I get caught, do you know what I mean? So... I don't know what the fetish is with YouTube and solo overnight camps. I don't really enjoy it. I don't know whether it's supposed to be some sort of challenge or out like that, but... I find it incredibly boring, just sat on my own. I suppose it's alright if you can play with your phone and stuff, but a stealth camp you can't really do that. Um, yeah, I just find it incredibly boring. Uh, one thing I, I might try next time though, is um, some earplugs. Reason being, it's only when you're doing something like this, when you're wary of making noise, that every time you roll over and you, you think you're going to snort, you wake up. Every time a squirrel farts in a tree, you wake up, um, the stuff come crashing through, I don't know what they were, um, ran around like dogs but they weren't dogs, um, about half past one, something like that, three o'clock something, went bonkers in the woods, um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I don't know what the fetish is with the whole solo thing, maybe it's because some people are scared of doing it and look for other people doing it, I, do I don't know, I don't understand, <laughs> comment below if you get it, I don't. Oh, cold. I need to start moving. It's my Doberman knives one. Can't buy these anymore. I'm not hungry, but I want some warm. never fully fit. Take it out, drop it in. Give both halves a go. Even when it's come to a bit of a boil, just turn it down, let it simmer for a bit. Mush all the insides up so it spreads the heat evenly. 
um, it should be pretty common sense but you know right I know I know I know I know people are gonna comment on this and go where is it I want to know where that is I want to go down there where is it I'm not telling you reason being I know 90% of the people that watch this will be absolutely fine 10% are going to be idiots, 2% um, are going to be absolute problems, so last thing I want is that 2% coming down here, making a mess, making a noise, acting like it's their right to be here, and then if they get caught going, well, that rich from bug out vehicle showed me, so, and it comes back on me, so, yeah, and on the same note as well. I get some people that watch the videos and like, oh, are you near this? Oh, are you near that? Oh, and like they've got to know where you are, and they might know where this is. They might have been before, um, and they'll probably want to feel special and uh, act like they know and put it in the comment section. Don't bother doing that because then that defeats the object of me not telling people. If you do do that, that causes me problems again. So what I'll do is I'll not only delete your comment, I'll block you. Play the game. Come on. It's one of them things of, I don't want to be an arse, but I've got a preemptive kind of do these things, because otherwise I end up getting aggro from it, and then it gets to the point, if I get aggro from it, I just don't bother making the videos. So if you want content, please play the game, because that's what it is, it's a big game. Can you tell I'm pre-coffee? <laughs> I've had two or three hours sleep, and I ain't had coffee yet. <laughs> the people that there is people that have stuck around for a while that do get it's it's a double-edged sword I'm brutally honest with like the products the things that I do how I do it things like that the downside is I'm quite blunt um, if you haven't noticed I'm very blunt in the replies things like that half the time I don't read the comments right or I've read 20 or 30 arsehole comments or something like that and then I reply to someone else's that was just read it wrong or something so apologies for that but <laughs> it's one of them things I think with YouTube you you've got to be blunt because there's far too many nowadays of these nicey nicey youtubers that uh, I think it's almost fake it's it's just oh hi guys that kind of anything to keep subscribers anything to keep people happy and in return for that, they don't put people in check and they don't tell the stalkers to point out that they're being weird. They don't point out to the people leaving dickhead comments, that kind of thing. Um, and what they end up with is people taking liberties, emailing, messaging, things like that on personal profiles. I've said I don't know how many times, do not message me on my personal Facebook. People still do it every now and again. All they're going to do is get blocked. Um, is it's one of them know your boundaries you want to talk to me you want to ask me a question do it in the comment section below if it's an older video and i don't see the comment there's the facebook group ask it on the public facebook group if i don't see it or i ain't got time for it there's probably somebody else will answer it as well failing that i can't keep up with all the medias um go on patreon send me a message there you're on there you're paying for a service I'm gonna to reply to you um, but then you you know you will get people that just because I put the time and effort into making these videos they think the time is theirs and they're owed my time and unfortunately I'm not one of them guys this is I do this because it's fun I like to do it well this ain't fun this ain't fun at all and <laughs> um, I like to do it for the challenge kind of thing I like to put the stuff out there but it doesn't mean I owe time, okay? Don't sound miserable, but that's where it at. And I think a lot of people, not just with me, with other YouTube and stuff, need to reevaluate what they actually expect of those people, because a lot of YouTubers like this, I've spent however long getting ready for this yesterday, I've then spent time organising, getting down here, fuel getting down here, Andy bringing me over here, um, food kit and all the rest of it for the evening, an absolute crap night, um, yeah, and then time getting back and then I'll probably spend a day editing it, 
for your entertainment. So, and that's what a lot of YouTubers do. And people like Project Amber, um, pages like that, uh, the amount of time they must spend filming and editing, it's even more than me. So, there's questions I'd like to ask them. There's things that I'd like to like get them to do or like, ask them if they can come for a camp or things like that. I'm not going to mind them because they've got much bigger platforms than me or what have you. And it's one of them ones where you, I've already had the time, if that makes sense. I don't know. Maybe it's just my... I, th I think I do social media different to everyone else anyway, so... Maybe I'm wrong. Do that down the top last night. Coffee in a bag. You know we all we love these. We love these. Right. Good practice dictates. Take all your rubbish with you. Okay. Yes, it looks messy around here. No, that's not me. No, I won't be tidying it up for a change because this is a commercial place and I clearly don't give a shit about the place. <clears throat> if it was a park or something, yes, I would take a bag of rubbish back with me. I should have zoomed that. Uh, creamer. We do when you get home, empty your little bag out on the underside of me. Jet boil, a few tea bags, um, in there, like I say, rubbish in there too. You can empty that when I get home. That's still this week, but I'll give it a minute. As you're using stuff, it's hard to see it. As you're using stuff. So right now, I'm not gonna leave this out just because I've got what I need out of it. Straight away. What's that? Straight away, back in the pack, yeah? The only thing I've got out here, phone, playing with social media. Jet boil bag, food, jet boil. So if I had to go, that gets chucked on there, that gets chucked in the pouch, we're off, okay? It's that basic. <sighs> right, so on these, you'll see there's a little tab there to go across there to rip it to get into it don't do it that way get your knife cut it that way you end up with a much bigger area to go into and you're not putting a fork down in getting everything minging all the rest of it just a nice open pouch okay so right so they want you to cut across here i want to cut across here I wasn't hungry until I saw this. And there you go. So it's only that deep. And you get your little fork, boom, 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 you don't get your fingers dirty. I know there'll be a lot of you that watch this and they'll be like, yes, Rich, common sense. 
there's a lot of people that watch these videos that don't do it, haven't done it, quite young, what have you. I'm, I aim a lot of the stuff to include them, so I appreciate uh, your patience when I'm talking about real basic, basic stuff. Oh, that's warm. That's all that matters. Plan is, and put the sticks and stuff back where they were. I'm gonna have a scout on both tree lines, make sure there's no one about, and then I'm gonna head out the main kind of exit because I didn't do that on the way in. I came in through just a, a gap in the fence. Um, and he just pulled up, ran around the side, jumped in that way, held an abandoned entrance. Got a few more camps planned like this. Um, <clears throat> a few different locations and stuff. Unfortunately, one of them, someone's done a similar one recently. I'm still going to do it though, because I've had it planned since last summer. But is what it is with these games, you'll find a lot of times, frustratingly, you'll have a video planned, I've got, I've got um, a notepad in my van, I've got 26 videos written down there, um, I'm filling out the shot by shot, how I'm going to film them and all the rest of it and the gear that I need to do it, um, you'll start working your way through that and then you'll you'll click on YouTube and some bloggers have already just done it that week and you're like, oh. then you'll do it and people think you're copying but that's just the nature of it. I don't mind that so much. It's just when you get, there's a few uh, YouTubers out there that are absolute tool bags. It, ten, it tends to be the newer YouTubers. Um, and it also tends to be the ones that after a year or two, it fizzles out and they lose interest in it. Uh, and they get a bit of attention. They get some comments, they get some likes, they get a couple of bits and pieces chucked at them and uh, they think they're famous. None of us are famous. There's there's cat sneezing videos that have got 50 million views or something daft, you know what I mean? It's, I'm doing this for 5,000 views, 10,000 views, something like that. And uh, yeah, there's a few of them out there, naming no names, quite a lot of people will know. They'll go, they'll go out and they'll just try and get in there first, get in there first, I'm going to get the video first. It's me, it's like, it doesn't take long for people to see it doesn't take long for people to weigh those people up and it doesn't take long I mean I'll just call them as they are but a lot of people won't say it but they all know it and it's very short-sighted very very short-sighted and for the bit of clout you get for maybe the one two videos that you can poach you'll lose that tenfold because you've upset people And for that window that you've opened, you've closed several doors. Angry tree rat. Barking at me. where it was. A little pork pie for a thank you for the uh, little creatures.
Right, big thanks if you've made it this far. I'm going to head out now. I'm going to head onto the road and get ready for my pickup. So that's me done. <clears throat> Appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've already subscribed. Resubscribe again. Unclick it. Click it again. It uh, boosts the features, and a lot of people are getting notifications. If you uh, if you want to support the channel and you want the uh, the videos without the ads on consider patreon the links below um, i'll put all the videos on there first with no adverts for the first week so yeah see you on the next one time to get some sleep <laughs> <laughs>